Welcome back to PHN Talks, and in this video we're going to be unboxing the Apple M1 MacBook Air. This is a 256GB model with 8 gigs of memory, and it's in space grey. So without further ado, let's start the unboxing. Alright, so welcome to the overhead setup. And as you can see, this is the packaging for the MacBook Air. So I'll just go over the packaging here first as I do the unboxing. So on the side, obviously, it says Mac, MacBook Air. And then on the bottom, it's got the, um, sorry, I bumped the camera. It's got the information for the, um, about the model. So we got, it's the 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabyte, 13 inch MacBook Air M1 chip. It's got, it talks about the CPU and GPU on the back and the ports, etc. It's got the uh, sticker on the side there, Energy Star, etc. And the barcode. So we will flip it over here, and on the front it's got the classic picture from Apple. This box is picture's been the same on MacBooks for a long time. They all seem to have the same style picture for each of the models. So here I'll just open it up, and what's great is it's an Apple product, so I don't need my knife to do this like I did in the last unboxing. I can open it up with just the tab. You can see how satisfying this is here, I'll be quiet. Not bad from Apple, usually they break off. So that's a pretty that's some pretty good packaging there. So here I'll just take off the wrapper. That's pretty satisfying packaging removal. Apple's good with that. They're really good with their packaging and removal. So we'll get the plastic here out of the way. And here we are left with the computer. So now I'll just open it up here. And the great thing about the box is you can just lift on it. Normally it will just come out. Big gimmick, keep it anyway. Let's see if we can get this out. There we go. Apple almost gets the weight right. So we'll just flip. Nothing special on the inside, obviously. I'll just take this out of the way. And here is the MacBook in all its glory. So what I'll do is I'm going to take the MacBook out. And it's got a little tab here. Once again, Apple with all the details for packaging to help pull it out. And I'm going to remove the MacBook out of the way. And we will pull out and look at the accessories that are in the box. First thing that we pull out here is the USB-C to USB-C cable. The MacBook will probably come char with charge on it. I will check here in a minute. But this is just the USB-C to C cable. And if we just take this out of the pa paper packaging here. Notice how Apple is also using a lot more paper too. Obviously there's still some plastic, but not as much plastic. So this is some paper packaging here. This is the C to C cable, which you will use to pa charge your MacBook. I'll pull this aside. Under here we have the design by Apple in California. Logo or pamphlets here. We'll look at this in a sec. And we also have our Apple charging brick. Now this obviously isn't MagSafe charging and this is actually like a papery feel. This doesn't feel like the stereotypical plastic. I don't know if I can get that on here but it's got like a different texture. I don't know if it's like a papery or something. That's interesting that they kind of switched up. So as I said they were trying to be more environmentally friendly. Now, let's see here. There should be a way to Ugh, let's rip it. Well, actually, no, here we go. A little flab on here to pull this off. Pull this off here, guys. And pulling it out here, this is just the USB-C charger for the cord. This actually is like a paper. If I show this to the camera here, I don't... But it's not actually plastic, it's paper, so they're being environmentally friendly. This is the Apple 30-watt brick, which you will use here to charge your um, MacBook, as opposed to the larger MagSafe bricks that come with the new MacBooks. So, now that we have this out of the way, we'll take a look at the pamphlet. And here we have instructions, MacBook Air. Never going to use any of these. We have here, and we have the things that I like the best out of this, the Space Gray Apple stickers. You actually get colored Apple stickers with Macs, so I'm quite excited about these. So, Space Gray Apple stickers. And I'll put this all aside here in the box to deal with after. And let's take a look at the actual computer. Here it is, and I'm just going to pull off the peel, the wrapper here. And it is open. Now, it looks pretty good here. This is the space gray color that I mentioned, and it looks phenomenal. Going over what's on the device, we have on this side, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And flipping it over. We can see here you have the USB-C ports or Thunderbolt ports. Yeah, 
So what I'm going to do is switch camera angles here to show you, to show you the uh, computer a bit more and talk a little bit more about it. All right, so we're going to wrap up the video with a quick overview of the computer. Opening it up, I already had turned it on before here before I filmed this cut here, but there was a it's doing its Mac startup and it always makes the sound which I love. I love the Mac startup sound. Uh -huh. I took off the uh, screen layer of paper which was over the screen to protect it. And now it's entered setup mode which looks like this. I'm not going to go through that. I'll just run through the keyboard here and just has the nice Apple trackpad on it. It's got the nice key. Use English as the main language. Press the return key. Pour utiliser le français comme langue principale. Anyway, that, I won't test out the keyboard now. But now it's talking to us. And it's got the nice Apple Magic keyboard on it, I believe. I think it's a Magic keyboard. I could be mistaken. And it's got nice backlit keys. And apparently the speakers are quite good on it. So yes, this is pretty much wraps up the basic un but brief unboxing of the Apple M1 MacBook Air. Uh, there will be a review video to follow. And to follow this video, so I mean soon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like it, obviously. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post something new. And yeah, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.